All right, guys. So I, I got some cool stuff from Amazon. And check this out. I got two water bottles. that I, I travel a lot, so um, I want to be able to take my water bottle with me without carrying something like this or you know even bigger. So I got some collapsible water bottles. And I want to check it out. Um, are two different brands, but uh, um, they're about the same, I think. Uh, at least from both uh, 500 milliliters and uh, one of them is about 10 bucks and one of them is about uh, 20 22 dollars okay so let's open it up and see so this is the first one it's called the uh, collap collapsible water bottle and well it looks pretty cool Well, that's pretty cool, huh? It's uh, pretty easy. I don't like the cap. It's it's a snap-on cap. When you're, it's a suction on there. When you're opening it, it's a little bit more difficult. But overall, it looks pretty cool. It's pretty small, small footprint with a little hanger. And yeah, so this is the 10 bucks. 10 bu oh, man, this is... Hard to open. Well, here's the num problem number one. I can't open the lid anymore. Oh, man, that's hard to get open. So, all right, let's give that a shot. Okay. All right, so that's number one. And number two, let's open this over. It's called Hydroway. It's a hydration travel pack. So I got the one with a little case. So this nice little case. You open it up, and there it is. And well, there's once again. You got twist open. That's pretty easy. And I like this, and I like the uh, the spout on this. That's pretty nice, and it's pretty easy to open the lid because you have. The twist top. That's cool. Okay. Let's see how it compares with each other. Here. Um, you can see that the this one's a little taller when it's full and this one is a little bit shorter but fatter but they both said to be about 500 milliliters on the bottom yeah 500 milliliters both made in China this one's patent pending this one does not uh, machine washable, don't cut, no fire. So yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's fill it up with some water and see what's going on. Well, um, so final thoughts on this is that you get what you paid for. Um, they are very similar. One is inverse of the other. This one sort of bulged out in the middle to get that 500 milliliters. This one sort of uh, have a collapse in the middle and um, large on the ends to get that 500 milliliter. This is definitely a little taller, and um, but it's also a little taller once it's collapsed. So you get what you made for, you get what you pay for. And this particular one, I really don't like the cap. It's just hard to get off and. And when and it's, I'm constantly worried about if the water will spill in my bag or something like that. Here in the hydroway, it's much easier with a twist top. I did hear about some complaints about this O-ring. Um, so far, I didn't. I I barely noticed it, so I think it's okay. Okay, 
Now, the I bought the one with the carrying case. Um, in hindsight, I think the carrying case is just another weight in my bag. So I'm probably just going to carry around without the carrying case and just that. Okay, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, if it is, great. If it isn't, great. Let me know. Um, good luck and happy travels.